So, I accidentally ended up making a mobile game. Basically, this is an interactive visual novel horror story. The premise of the story is this. You enter Dr. Boo's laboratory as an assistant, but something goes very, very bad. Let me just play through to the first ending here. But how did I end up creating the game? To really understand what's going on behind the scenes, we have to take a look at React. React is a JavaScript library for building interactive web applications. Basically, we have a collection of base React components that we can then combine together to create new components. With a mix and match of these, building reactive single page applications is really easy and intuitive. Now, how does this tie to mobile games? That's where React Native comes in. This basically acts as a translator to React, converting the output to, say, native Android. If we are talking games, this may not end up being number one choice due to performance concerns, as you are including a layer of JavaScript abstraction instead of developing straight for mobile. But my game was scoped as an interactive visual novel, thus being all of the game elements would be text, images and UI. And with the ease of development on React, the choice was obvious. Here's main gist of the my component structure. The main app has a view container and inside it we load either the main menu, chapter or endings component based on game state. In the chapter component I'm loading the dialog from a JSON file. Then I can access the data through the dialog index. When I set current dialog, it renders the page again, with new data from a another dialog. Here's an example of a dialog JSON from my project's GitHub README. With the choices and endings key value pairs, I can make myself a dialog tree flow. And yes, the project is entirely in GitHub, so if you yourself want to go check it out and make yourself a nice little visual interactive novel, you can do that. I also keep track of endings the player has obtained. This is done through a async storage, where I store the endings data as a stringified JSON. Tools, after sweat and toil, and a bottle of rum, the game was made. Now I have only one problem and that is uploading it to the Play Store. The game is now in closed beta, so if you want to get an early bird look at it, you can check the link in the description. School out.